Hey guys, let's find the exact value of the sine of 105 degrees. So first thing we wanna do is check the unit circle. The x value of each of these points would give us the cosine and the y value of each of these points would give us the sine. Now we wanna see is 105 degrees on the unit circle. That would make this problem very easy to solve. But we can see here that 105 degrees is not on the unit circle. The unit circle is made up of all the 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90 triangles. Because for 30, 60, 90 triangles and 45, 45, 90 triangles, we know the exact value that the sides have in relationship to each other. So we can give exact values for the trig functions. Even though sine 105 degrees is not on the unit circle, we can still find an exact value for it. We're going to use the sum and difference angle formulas. What this allows us is if we can create 105 by adding or subtracting anything on the unit circle, we can then use these formulas to get an exact value. I can rewrite 105 by adding 45 and 60. So now we're going to be doing the sine of A plus B. That is this top one right here, so I'll gray these out. This will be sine cosine plus cosine sine. So the first angle 45 degrees will go in the first spot of each of these and the 60 degrees will go into each of those. And all four of these are on the unit circle so we can find each of those. So we don't need these notes anymore. And let's do the sine of 45. So I'm going to find 45 on the unit circle and I know that sine is the second value, which in this case is root two over two. And then cosine of 60, I'll find 60 degrees. I want the x value, in this case, one half. And then we're gonna to add to that cosine of 45, we find the 45. We want the cosine of that, which is the x value. So we can see here, cosine of 45 is root two over two. And then sine of 60 will be the y value here, which is root three over two. And now we can smush this all together and these will multiply to give us a fraction plus a fraction. For the top, we'll just multiply root two times one is root two. And for the bottom, two times two is four. And on this side, root two times root three is root six. And on bottom, two times two is four. So now we have two fractions with a common denominator. We can smush them into a single fraction. And this is the exact value for sine 105 degrees. And let's put a box around it. How exciting. 